Hi everyone and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today I'm reviewing the ColouredMoments.com custom colouring book. So as you can probably tell by the word custom, this is a completely personalised colouring book that's going to be completely unique for every single person that orders it. And it's basically a series of colouring pages made from your photographs and turned into line art for you to colour. So I've chosen the five page option which is the minimum but you can get up to 25 pages in your colouring book. Now as you can see we have this sort of frosted plastic cover to protect the image on the front. It's spiral bound so you don't have to worry about getting into any spines or having any problem with it laying flat at all. One thing that puzzled me was that it's spiral bound on the right hand side as opposed to the left which is a bit strange but um, anyway. So the first image as you can see contains the coloured moments logo um, and I thought that was a bit um, I thought they probably could have put like a, maybe a thinner piece of paper in the front to do their logo and their marketing and things like that rather than print it straight onto the picture that you want to colour because I'm going to have to probably make this area really dark to cover up the logo um, you know if I wanted to, to frame this or anything like that I don't really want the logo on there but yeah this is the first image me and my husband taken quite a while ago um, probably about 12 years ago and um, I'll put the original photo up on the screen now for you to compare it in fact I might just move this across and give room for both images so you can see a side by side so that's the first image Here's the second image and these are my two boys Shane and Max. This is when Max was really little, I don't even think he was one yet um, and they were just sat together on the settee. This is myself, Max and Shane when we went to Legoland one year, we were in the hotel, took this photograph and as you can see it's a really nice depiction of the original photograph. The line work is obviously quite basic, it's not going to be incredibly detailed like a sketch drawing um, or a caricature of yourself that an artist would actually draw with all of that detail it literally is the bare bones line work so here's my husband and uh, Max and Shane again and this is the original and then here's the one that I've actually coloured in this is the original here and as you can see it's a really really um, well done piece of line work even though the facial features aren't very very detailed everything's in there that needs to be that was on the original photo now I had quite a, a tough time doing the skin on this because the skin tones are quite dark on the original photo so I just went for one generic sort of skin tone um, over over everybody um, and then I filled in all of the bits of detail on the wallpaper and I did the the fur on Rosie here so yeah, I think it's turned out really well. There was also no detail on the t-shirt, on Max's t-shirt, so I drew in all of the different Disney characters on there. Um, but yeah, I really, really love how that turned out, actually. It's, it's pretty incredible when you put them side by side. So that's it. That's the five pages from my book. And as you can see, there's sort of a black PVC plastic backing on there. It did come with a thick piece of hardboard that slid into the back so that you could colour on a very uh, hard surface so you didn't you could colour on your lap or wherever you want and you had that hard back to lean on. Now the prices um, itself go from $36.50 $36 uh, upwards depending on how many pages you have. So $36.50 will get you the five pages as I've got here. Um, that translates to around £26 and then obviously you have to pay shipping on top because it's coming from the US. Now that can get quite expensive so if you don't mind um, getting digital prints of this that is a much cheaper option. So you can get electronic delivery for each page for just £4.40 so you can have one image emailed to you for £4.40 and I think that's a much much cheaper option. Just talking about the paper for a sec, it describes the paper on the website as high quality paper, there's no other details or anything about the paper itself, about the weight or the thickness but I would describe this definitely as a very high quality paper, it's very thick, it has a very very deep tooth on it so it's good for colouring pencils, you can put lots of layers onto 
into it it will take quite a while to burnish the tooth of the paper so if you do like working with layers that's good again for markers I'd imagine it's brilliant alcohol markers you're going to have to put something behind because they'll always bleed but as for um, the paper quality itself it is very very good nice and thick it is slightly on the cream side I don't think it's bright white so yes that's the paper now it's got all of the different elements that colorists seem to love so it's got the one-sided images the spiral binding um, it says on the website that the images are all perforated but they're not actually perforated I think they might have got confused with um, the binding here that you can just sort of rip them out but they're not actually perforated on here so if you would like to order you can get 10% off your first order if you go on to coloredmoments.com and sign up for the newsletter there'll be a little flash advert that comes up when you go on the website asking you to sign up for the newsletter and in return you'll get 10% off so that's even more of a saving for you but I would definitely recommend if the price or the shipping is just too high to go for those digital versions and you can print off on any um, paper stock that you desire you can print on cardstock anything that you usually use to print out your coloring images so you can buy these on coloredmoments.com you can also get it from Etsy but the prices are all exactly the same I'll be leaving all the links in the description for you to go and have a look and all you have to do is just send your photos off and they'll turn it into this lovely line work for you so let me know what you think, um, leave me a comment in the comments box below and also don't forget to click the thumbs up and the subscribe button. I hope you've been able to hear me properly today, I've got a little bit of a sore throat so I'm trying to speak a little bit lower and quieter than usual. So I hope you've enjoyed this, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.